NATO's ballistic missile defense in Eastern Europe, a stand against Russian aggression. NATO's ballistic missile defense, BMD, in Eastern Europe has been a point of contention between the alliance and Russia for over a decade. The system, comprised of missile defense sites and other radar and communication technologies, is designed to protect NATO member countries against potential ballistic missile threats from nations like Iran and North Korea. However, Russia has consistently viewed the BMD as a direct threat to its own security and has responded by increasing its own military capabilities, including the deployment of Iskander missile systems to Kaliningrad and the construction of new missile defense systems near Moscow. The origins of the BMD system date back to the early 2000s when the United States began exploring ways to defend against potential threats from nuclear-armed states like Iran. After much debate, the decision was made to build a system in Europe, with the initial plan calling for the deployment of missile defense sites in Poland and the Czech Republic. However, these plans were eventually scrapped due to domestic political opposition and concerns over Russia's response. In 2010, a new approach was announced that would utilize existing infrastructure and focus on improving NATO's overall missile defense capabilities. The resulting system, known as the European Phased Adaptive Approach EPAA, was designed to be implemented in four phases over the course of several years. The first phase, which involved the deployment of an early warning radar system in Turkey, was completed in 2012. The second and third phases, which included the deployment of sea-based missile defense capabilities and the construction of a land-based system in Romania, were completed in 2015 and 2016, respectively. The final phase, which involves the construction of a missile defense site in Poland, is set to be completed in 2022. Russia has consistently opposed the BMD system, viewing it as a direct threat to its own security. Moscow has argued that the system is not designed to defend against the threats it claims to be addressing, but rather to undermine Russia's own military capabilities. The Russian government has also claimed that the deployment of missile defense systems in Europe violates the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces INF, treaty and has threatened to withdraw from the treaty if the systems are not removed. Despite these objections, NATO has defended the BMD system as a necessary measure to protect its member countries against potential ballistic missile threats. As NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg has stated, ballistic missile defense is not directed against Russia. It is a defensive system to protect against threats from outside the Euro-Atlantic area. The BMD system has also been seen as a symbolic expression of NATO's commitment to its Eastern European members particularly those in the Baltics and Poland that are seen as being most vulnerable to potential Russian aggression. In the wake of Russia's annexation of Crimea in 2014, NATO stepped up its military presence in the region, including the deployment of additional troops and equipment, in an effort to reassure its allies. In addition to its symbolic importance, the BMD system has real military value in the event of a conflict. The system is designed to detect and track incoming ballistic missiles and intercept them before they can reach their target. While the system is not foolproof, it has been demonstrated to be effective in testing and could provide a critical layer of protection in the event of an attack. Overall, the BMD system in Eastern Europe represents both a strategic and symbolic challenge to Russia. While NATO has maintained that the system is not directed against Russia, Moscow has consistently viewed it as a direct threat to its own security. As tensions between the two sides continue to simmer, the fate of the BMD system will likely continue to be a source of controversy and tension in the years to come.